Do you ever find yourself wanting to know how people are making these beautiful listings where they have different designs for each person or they have all the same design, however, they have different shirts, the baby, the toddler, the youth, and the adults. Like if you ever wanted to know how to make one of these kind of listings, this video is for you. You see how this showed up here for me? matching family shirts, it automatically came over to Printful for me because of the integration that I had set up. Now, you may have your integration set up, however, this may not show up. And I'm gonna show you right now how to fix that. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into your shop manager and then you want to navigate over here to listings and you want to go ahead and add your listing. So this is what I typically will do. So I will typically just add my size charts. Say that you're doing a Bella Canvas and you're gonna do all the family in Bella Canvas. So you got your youth, toddler, toddler, baby, and that's good enough for now. Okay, so so you, because you have to have photos here, it will not allow you to create a listing without a photo or a title. Matching family shirts. Just as the, uh, the preliminary title. Okay, who made it? Um, since this is a tutorial on how to uh, sync it with Printful, we're gonna put another company person it's a finished product and it is made to order. So um, I do, normally would put mine in t-shirts because I sell t-shirts typically. Um, I know that you can sell many other things. Um, I do not use the size option because I like to uh, add it in my variations down below and you'll see why we're doing that here in a minute. Um, the primary colors, now this is something that I would come back and add after I decide on what I'm putting on my shirts and everything. Um, but it does help to add these in the search engine. I like to turn mine to manual because I like to see how something's going to perform before I, um, before I make it an automatic. Okay, so you do have to add something in the description for it to allow you to save it as a draft here. You have to add something in your description. So I would just put um, Bella Canvas shirts. Because that's just something that I always like to um, make it very clear that they are Bella Canvas shirts because a lot of people on Etsy really prefer Bella Canvas shirts, I've noticed. So, um, and we're gonna, this is a printful tutorial, so we're gonna do that. And then you can um, add your section if you already have that established. If not, that is something that you can do uh, after we get done with the printful part of this. Okay, so here we're gonna go to add variations. And then down here, I always like to do my own personally. So we can do uh, like color, for example, here. And then I like to do prices and quantities vary. You can do um, different colors here. So say that you're going to offer a black, a black, and you're going to offer a heather gray, say. Okay, so then down here, I like to do it again myself. But I mean, and, and it does say size, but it it's better to customize it in my opinion. So I'll do size here. And then say that you want to ha offer all different sizes. So you wanna offer, um, you want it to be a family shirt. So say, adult, small, and remember whatever you put in here is going to show up to your customer. So you wanna make sure that it looks nice. I'll speed this up for you. And then say you wanna also offer a toddler size, and that would be two T. And I don't know why I'm doing this the hard way. Do it this way, okay, go here, do that. Copy, three T, 
paste for the body and so on and so forth. Okay. So you also want to offer a baby body so you can do that as well. But I, for the sake of um, making this not such a long video, we're just gonna have these. All right. So then you go ahead and do that. And then as you can see, because I chose the pricing and the quantities to be separate, this makes it a lot easier if something goes out of stock while, um, like out of stock at your place and you don't have order routing or something rerouting set up then you can call, uh, control like you can make this say sold out so that people can't purchase it if there are no black adult mediums which probably would never happen but just you know as as a result so as an example anyway so you can what i always do for my quantities is i always set them for 999 and then, um, and then I set my pricing according to whatever I am picking. You can actually wait to do that until, until you uh, are ready to come back. And then this way you can just do like, you know, whatever you want for your pricing. Okay, so you can do it that way. That will save you some time in the long run. And then just click whatever shipping profile you have because you're just saving this as a draft and no one's even going to see it. So, so then you're just going to come over here and you're going to refresh data. You see how this showed up here for me, matching family shirts. It automatically came over to Printful for me because of the integration that I had set up. Now you may have your integration set up. However, this may not show up and I'm going to show you right now how to fix that. Okay, so what you need to do is you wanna go over here to your gear icon where your settings are, and then you wanna come down to your store and then orders. So you wanna find sync as you go in the heading in your order section. And you wanna make sure that import existing products is checked because by default, this is not checked. So whenever you make a listing in Etsy, it will not come over to Printful unless you have this checked. So then you are going to obviously hit save and then you can go back to your store and click on view store, refresh your data, and hopefully it comes over now. Then you click in here to it and it is the black adult large shirt. All right. So your text here, transparent background, excuse me, you do have to have the pro account to download these as a transparent background. And I do think that that is something that is an advantage. Um, it's not super expensive and there's a lot of stuff that you can do in this program. Um, I will put a affiliate link down below um, so that you can get pro if you think that's something that helps. Now, the best thing about pro is that you can download it transparent and then you don't lose the quality that you lose from trying to put it into a background eraser, like an online background remover tool. Because I was doing that for a while and it was really decreasing my quality here. Um, this doesn't decrease your quality if you have Pro. So that's the only reason why I, I have Pro really. That's the main reason. And it has a lot of cool stuff in it. Anyway, so then go over here because I didn't have my design for some reason made up for this. Okay, so let's say we're going to choose, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to choose the products that we're going to sync here. So I always pretty much use the Bella Canvas. Sometimes I use the uh, 64,000 shirt. Those are also pretty soft, but you know, a lot of people like the... Bella can I <laughs> wasn't really thinking too well and I did black text for a black shirt that's not gonna work out so well so let's go back and fix that <laughs> that is not gonna show up all right so we got your text here this would be good if you have something that's personalized and you want to do it that way so up here it says black adult large so we're on black adult large that looks like pretty good placement and then continue and then it will sync the product and you just continue to do this all the way through i'll show you how you um go from an adult size here so okay great i love that it keeps your design just choose the correct size so now let's show you how to switch to a different product 
So now you want to go back to browse. You want to go down here to, oh, excuse me, you want to go to all departments, kids, t-shirts, and toddler. And this one's the toddler 2T black, so you do that. And you just continue. And then let's say we want to go to youth, then you're going to do the same thing. And just bring up your youth T. And this is the large. And again, we're always checking to double check to make sure the design looks good uh, where it's placed because, you know, different shirts have different print areas. So once you do that, okay, you're gonna sync all of these products. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so this is a perfect example where the color is not offered in the children's section. And I'll show you how to deal with that whenever we get back over to the Etsy portion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, finish up here and then I'm gonna take you back over to Etsy and show you what to do with this kind of a situation. And then you'll also see this right here is the reason why I like to make my price and quantity all separate whenever I'm creating my Etsy listing because now if you see there's no 5T available in black. So to deal with that, we would have to go in and add our quantities separate anyway so that we can take that out of stock and or find another shirt to replace it so either you know we're going to have to replace this with like a rabbit skin shirt which tends to get a lot of bad reviews if you don't inform the customer prior to that they're going to get a different shirt so you just want to i like to just make it sold out so that it just makes my life a little easier and i don't have to worry about something getting replaced with something that my customer is not expecting this is a demo product for me but i also like to go through and just double check it's Heather Gray, extra large. I like to make sure that those really synced up right because sometimes this thing has a cow and it will like sync the previous size for your next listing and then leave this one undone. So I like to just double check them all um, by expanding this and then just double checking small, small, black, black. That's all, you know, make sure the design's the right one. I like to double check it just because, you know, once things go into production, you can't really change it very easily. So, so to do that, you have to do it one at a time. Okay, and then you go proceed to mock-ups and you choose which mock-up you would like. So you can either do this one, this one's cute, we'll do this one. Okay, and then that one will, it will push it to your store then. And I, I mean, I would do this with each, um, you know, each shirt type. And also each color probably is what I would do. Okay, so now we're back in our listing. Okay, let's um, reload that. And see, now our mocks are here. So I like this just so everybody knows, hey, that's got all the different size sizes available. So then you can go over here and you can fill out um, black, gray, um, I don't know, we'll just say preppy. And then the occasions are like if you have any special occasion or anything like that short sleeve, I don't know, crew. However you like to write your descriptions, make sure Printful is here, put your tags and everything like that. Go ahead and fill out all that stuff. And then I, like I said, like to um, go through here and make these separate like so, because remember our toddler, size black was out of stock and our heather gray toddlers were not available to be used so let's go ahead and uncheck all the heather gray toddlers because those aren't available and then also make our black 5 t-shirt out of stock because we know 
that it is not available right now. And that is unfortunately something that you'll have to keep an eye on in the future if this is the way that you control your inventory. Like every now and then you'll have to go in and check inventory levels to see if it is available or not. So um, update price, we'll just do that so everything is quick and easy. Now you can either use your uh, printful one that is here which print full standard free or now you can also create your own shipping profile which is what I prefer to do so I'm gonna do this because it won't let me save it usually um, preview that oh, man. It doesn't like me right now it's not loving me right now please love me here we go. Okay, so now you can see what it's going, what your listing will look like. So I always like to just kind of go through, double check, make sure everything looks the way I want it to look. Um, and you can actually, these size charts, you can purchase them from people on Etsy. And I highly recommend that you do that because these size charts are very nice size charts to have. Um, the only the word of caution is that whenever you use different colors than what you offer, you might want to mention in your description that that color is just like not available, that it's just this for size shirt reference because I've had people think that I could, that they, they could get the shirt in pink even though it was not listed under the colors for some reason. So just to help you with some customer service, maybe add that in the description so that it doesn't become an issue. Um, but then you would just publish it and then everything is all synced up and you will be able to make sales on this. So that is the video. I hope it helped answer any questions you have. If you have any more questions or if you feel like I didn't cover something that you still had a question about, go ahead and put that in the comments below. I am definitely loving having an Etsy shop and I'm thinking about pivoting this channel to possibly also covering some of these kind of topic topics. So if you're interested, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you are interested in seeing more videos like this. And I thank you so much for watching. Bye.